Nathan Gorman, welcome back. Good to be back, mate. Talk to me. Tell me how you're feeling. Feeling good. Um, I've missed it. You know, from being around it, being around everyone who I know and stuff, doing the press conferences and things like that, I've missed it. Um, it's been a year, so it's been a long time, but we're here now, aren't we? You know, good win. Get Christmas out of the road and looking forward to the new year. Before we ask the, I suppose, the obligatory, you know, what happened on that night, Welcome back is a, is a good phrase because you say you've missed it. You've been away for the best part of a year. Yeah. Was it important that you took a whole year or near enough to, to sort of reflect and, and regroup? Was, what was the, the reason for that? Um, I'd obviously, I had some time off after Wardley. I had a few in, injuries I had to you know, iron out. Yeah. Um, I had a couple of injuries because I was due to fight in June, but injury prevented that, which it's boxing, let's be fair. Okay. It, it happens, doesn't it? Um, but I've stayed in the gym. I've been working on what what's gone wrong, or what did go wrong against the Wardley fight. So hopefully, come Friday, listen. There's nothing. There's nothing. I've always said there's nothing like hands-on experience. You can punch the bag, you can spy, you can do what you want. But when you're in there physically in front of a crowd, the ten ounce gloves on with another man, what's as game as you, you know, wants to win. That's where you gotta transition that from what I've been doing into the gym, into the ring, into fight night. So hopefully. Yeah, you know, can't see why not. It'll come off, and uh, if it does, if I do what I've been doing in the gym, I'll be laughing. What's it been like for you in this in this pe- <clears throat> period where you've had time to reflect? What what has gone through your mind? What emotions have got have you been through thinking back to the the Wardley fight, and I suppose what could have been all sorts. Obviously, um, when I when, when I lost to Wardley, I knew I was beating him as a thing. I was beating him quite easily. He just caught me with a big, listen, uh, credit to Wardley, he'd done what he'd done. Caught me with a good big punch right behind the back of the ear and I couldn't recover. Which, heavyweight division. You know, any man over 14, 15 stone hits you, it's curtains. So, like you said, I was sick. Sick as, sick as a dog I was. I, <laughs> I never w- never watched the fight till about three months afterwards. And, uh, I could, yeah, I can physically remember the, what, 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 what I backed up on the ropes and I was gonna throw an uppercut and he just closed eyes and bang and he caught me and yeah but listen some things happen in life don't they I do believe it was meant to be that night it's out of my hands unfortunately that specific shot that you said that was the one I mean we spoke about it off camera before I think you mentioned it then again on yeah. the stage was it a simple case of he he timed it well. Yeah. You mistimed it. Yeah. Credit to him. You could yeah. have done better. Whatever was it a case of that? Bit of the both. Um, he timed the shot beautifully, and I mistimed it. I was going to throw an uppercut, short uppercut, which Calais was saying on the stage, you know, half an hour ago. I should have just been patient. Jab, 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 wrap him up. Jab, basically heavyweight, heavyweight stuff. But so that I wanted to have a row and I with that because he's a wild card and he pulls out big shots. Don't worry, don't worry, he, beat, he was beating David Adley quite convincingly, but he had that 10 second bang, bang. It, was, it was over, wasn't it? So he's got the power, which he can punch like that. David Adley is a name yeah. who had a similar experience fighting Fabio Wardley, or at least it ended in similar fashion in, in regards to the, the result. Should you get the win on Friday, is that the logical fight that you Most want definitely. to go for? I'm not the type of person to call fighters out. It's only because he was calling me out and he never left me alone. That's um, right. Previously. So, listen, we both lost at the British title to the same opponent. So, why can't we fight, fight each other? Fight each other for a British eliminator or a Commonwealth or whatever. Um, easy fight to make. Easy fight in the world to make. He'll be up for it. I'm more than up for it. Let's get it on to February time. Providing everything goes on Friday. If only things were that simple, I guess. But how? Maybe, maybe it will be. Hopefully, it will be. Um, how do you think that fight goes down? I'm not going to be silly enough to ask you the projected result. I'm sure he would say him, and you would yeah, say I think you. I'd but, beat him quite convincingly. But what kind of fight is that? You I and I think Dave? it'd be a good fight. I'd do. I think it'd be like a three, four round. Like it'd be game. Then I think I'd just take over. I think I'd beat him convincingly. I really do. Um, I, nothing bad against David Adley. You know, he's a good fighter. You, know, you don't box for British titles if you're no good. Um, but I think I think he's very very beatable. The question was put to you up on the stage about a potential Fabio Wardley rematch down the line. I'm sure you would 
oh, yeah. love that. With all due respect, he might say I'm I'm going this way, which he's more of course likable too. Because if it were me, truthfully, I'd say no offense, mate, but you know, I want to move on now. Here's the belts, you and whoever fight for him. But if it, you never know in boxing, where the things has happened at sea. If you were to fight him again, yeah, what would you do differently? Uh, a few things, a few things. I'd be more patient, take me time. I wouldn't try and fight him. I'd just box him. Which, what I should have done. Let's talk about the man in front of you this Friday. I feel like we're doing him a little disservice yeah. throwing in all these other names. He is a, a quite an obstacle to get past. A did, a, did a good job last time out, um, and he, yeah, he's got the opportunity here to to really propel himself. He, he's already beaten one recognisable good name in Cashel Lee last time out. Again. And if he does it again, he'd be Nathan Gorman on Channel 5. That's a that's a big statement. What kind of test is in front of you? Big test. Like you said, listen, he could be thinking in his own mind, oh, he's come off a defeat, he got stopped. Mentally, he might not be right or something. But truthfully, I always look at things this way. A fight doesn't bother me in the fight. A fight's a fight. Um, he's come off a good win with Cashel Lee. Beat Cashel Lee quite convincingly, in my opinion. Um, some judges are a bit... Well, they had it like 50, mm. 50, whatever it was. For my opinion, he won every round. Um, so he's no stranger to coming over here and pulling off the upset. I've been speaking to guys previously, they were telling me they couldn't get over how confident he was fight week when he was boxing casually. So he's got that confidence of doing the job, what he did last time, coming into this fight. But I'm not casually. There's also the other thing, so it'd be a different... When he hits me, I'm not the type of person I'll cover up and walk. So I'll, like, I'll try and see this one through. I'll fight fire with fire. Hence, I've done it previously. Given that it's Channel 5, given that you know we've seen the numbers, one point something million, two million, two point something million on various different shows and viewership. Callum mentioned it on the stage before, the, the opportunity to make a statement here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bit massive. Is that going to be on your mind? You want the knockout, specifically the knockout, not a laboured point when you want to stop this boy. Of course, in course I'd love a knockout. Listen, if I could go out there and throw the first punch and it knocks him out, I'd love that. Who wouldn't? But a win is a win is what I'm going to do. If I see it, I'm taking it. Whether it be round one or round seven, yeah, I'm taking. It. I'm, I'm going to try and take that knockout. Maybe this is putting you on the spot a little. Given what happened last time out and given the build-up to last fight, what was on the line in the last fight and where we are now, which fight is more important? Which is the bigger fight this in one. your career? This is my career. This is my career defining fight, I think. You have to win? I have to win, don't I? Let's be fair. God forbid. If the, you know, I'm not going to say it, put it out in the open, but mm -hmm. you know, the mm -hmm. opposite happens. What happens then? It's not like I'm losing that good, good title convention, you know, British or Commonwealth or European where you can come back this one will take a hell of a lot of building to get back appreciate your honesty Nathan yeah. we can't wait to see you back in the ring on Friday one thing I've always said Nathan Gorman he's, he's not afraid to throw hands he's not afraid to. we've seen that oh, in, yeah, in the last fight I'm sure we'll see it again definitely on Friday nice. night look at that smile he knows what's coming I yeah. really appreciate your time Nathan cheers, all the very best we'll see you Friday cheers brother